There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert. Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. <laughs> The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will when you get the MPT back online. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now.
an earth full of life. All we know today is dust. If you can bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson Space Station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pierce or clear. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must... Once you're in the... William, what the hell was that speech about? Our next chapter, Rosa. It's time. The ship will be ready soon. You can't be serious. I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. You are serious. Will, have you lost your mind? We can't leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. 
Not with the MPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we are not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. What? Ah! Uh, is this really... <sighs> This is Isaac. Hi. I'm not sure if this message will ever reach you. I, uh... I don't think it will. But I'm trying anyway. We haven't spoken since the argument about Kathy. I want you to know that she's safe. And well. This message will be the last you'll ever get from me. Or from anyone else up here. It's probably something you'll never understand. <laughs> Hell, I bet they do. If someone ever finds out what happened here, know that I did it for her. For your sister. To give her a chance. <laughs> but you'll do great. <clears throat> you'll do great things. Take care. And, uh... I love you. I wish I said that more often. <laughs> Back when you still called me dad. Goodbye, Claire. Hold up. Do you see the people down there? They will be the start of a new chapter. Together, we will be humanity's future. At what cost, William? We're saving the species so we can start again. If this is what it takes for humanity to survive, I'll gladly take responsibility. There you are, Johansson. Without your help, this wouldn't have been possible. Isaac? This was not the agreement, you know that. We need to get the MPT back online. Be realistic, Rosa. Even if we ever manage to provide Earth with all the power it needs, what do we truly gain? More time to see oceans and deserts taking our homes. William, I've done my part. Let's just go. I'm done with this mess. You heard the man? Let's go. Outward begins.
today. Today we find ourselves at a crossroads. The catastrophic events that have unfolded at the Tumbo facility have opened our eyes to a truth that cannot be denied. We have lost friends and colleagues. Our fellow colonists gave their lives for a hopeless cause, for a dying planet that we could never sustain. We used to call it home. Our pale blue dirt. But the Earth we know today is a withered husk, a shadow of its former self. The MPT chained us to a barren rock. But no more. All of you gathered here are survivors. You're here because you're mankind's strongest, the smartest, the brightest. Together, we will dare to lead and risk greatness. Start a new age of discovery. Like our ancestors, that fateful moment, they first set out to explore new worlds. We can turn back and confine ourselves to a dying planet. Or we can look outward. Now is the time to act. Make your decision and make it now. A new beginning dawns for humanity. And it dawns today. What's that speech all about? MacArthur can't decide this on his own now, can he? Look, we don't call the shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor? It's supposed to power. Of course I do. It's just the... Just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat. I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance, and I'm not wasting it. Now I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. The reasons for this attack remain unclear. It seems my expedition partner has left. And I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1 to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the MPT failure. Whoever finds this, please try to contact me. Alex, end recording. One colonists, this is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank, do you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? Mm, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Tombo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the Council when all colonists arrive at Moon Hub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get your hands off me! Evacuation crew to MacArthur. We're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew in the package are on their way to Moon Hub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. Contact me again when the second evacuation crew arrives. Over and out. Evacuation crew to MacArthur. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived in Moonhub, sir. Evac crew two is still nowhere in sight, though. 
We've been trying to reach them, but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Muna. The fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tomboy evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Seal the door, now. Yes, sir. Combo track access. Denied. Communication with closest base operator. Offline. Consult operator on arrival in Rhinold Crater Base. One. Combo track. Lock. Switch tracks to avert fatal collision. Assessment. Construction detected. Switch tracks to avert fatal. Monitor velocity critical. Activate brakes. Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? What, what the All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moon Hub with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to board the train for evac. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. Window at your six control center. I have eyes on him. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. Hey! Hey, you there! A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the tracks powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Have you been watching me with that thing? Are you going to the domes? At Huygens? Everybody Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planning. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Especially the Council. Hey, come in. I got bad news. We're not going to get a run in. Any luck up there? No, just a nut job. Quit the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? If the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. They'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sands are rough out of here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross those. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. Evac 1, come in. We need to transport the helium to Moonhop by rover, since we're not going to get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac 1, come in. Do you copy? Damn it. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> For the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. And, and now I know, just for the fuel, Helium-3, the ticket out of here. You stranded up here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. <laughs> Simply a flake of the switch, and you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in, and what you've put at risk. ASEL-30. Don't. Activate crowd control protocol. No! Ah!
evacuated? No, 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 this can't be right. They can't just leave. The colony will fail without them. And Earth. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? How can they be so... Warning. Tombow reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know! I know I'm alone. Tombow reactor capacity at 10%. Still going? Alex, we have to go. This is... this would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. Okay. Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombo. You'll make it, Sarah. Sarah. I'll find you. Ground control to Fortuna One. I'm not sure if you're still there. The dust storms, they've gotten worse. Everything has. The solution has to be a tombo. Whether it's the reactor or the MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell. But we're at the end of the line, Rolf. We could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could I wish I could help you. Reactor capacity at 9%. We're close now. Let's go, Alex. Welcome to Tombo. Who are you? Sarah. Sarah Baker. Used to be stationed at Pearson. You work here? I used to. Name's Isaac. Isaac. Mr. Johansson? Where's the rest? I thought everyone had... There's no one else. Why are you here? They're all gone? I... I'm here to fix the MPT. Mm -mm. No use. 
They locked the mainframe. The system's inaccessible. Uh, I'm a software engineer. Show me. Maybe I can... Uh, what's going on? The reactor. It's running out of fuel, but power's still building up inside. With the MPT offline, that power can't go anywhere. If it isn't stopped soon... Wait, you're a software engineer? Come with me! Wait, hold up! Security breach detected. Lockdown in effect. We have to get in now! I'm out of options! I've tried everything I know! Think! It's about to overload! Wait, didn't you say MacArthur overloaded safety limiters? Why are you talking about MacArthur? Alex, isolate encryption sequence 17B on the grid. Reactor capacity and zero. <sighs> Got it! We're in! Now what? There's an emergency shutdown! Reactor deactivating. It worked! The reactor's stabilizing! We're not done yet. The reactor hasn't been able to send the energy anywhere, so... ...PT overloading. Relief pressure immediately. The reserves are about to burst. We have to release the energy. How? A, a temporary transmission should send the... Ah! It's quiet. Finally. The reactor. Is it safe? It is, but the force has moved the MPT dish off its alignment. How bad is it? Can we realign it? The controls are up in the tower. But let's see if there's any helium left first. Isaac? Hey! They took it all. Storage is empty and... What's going on? Uh, so stay there. Stay there. I just need to, um... Is that helium? No, it's... It's... Sarah, uh... It's for Kathy. Okay, she, she's waiting. She's on the Ark. Uh, and I just, I just need to, to get this to her. Isaac, what are you talking about? Uh, three. Three. We made, we made... We made three Arcs for Outward. Yeah, they're gone. No, no, no. In the end, there was only enough fuel for two arcs. So, so MacArthur moved the uh, the sick, the, the cryo patients, to to the last one. Uh, and Kathy, Kathy's, she's still on the ark, stuck here on the moon. Wait. But with this, uh, I can, I can. I Isaac, can... I'm sorry, but Earth is our first priority. Earth's beyond saving, Sarah. With or without the MPT, our only hope, Kathy's only hope is out. Listen to me. We cannot give up on Earth. It's our home. Kathy's home. And think about Claire. She's made her decision, and I, I can't go back to Earth. But with Kathy and Outward, there's a, there's a chance to start over, a new dawn. We do what we must to keep them safe, even if they don't understand. But we can be wrong, Isaac. You said it yourself. MacArthur's wrong. Sarah! Outward is wrong. Sarah! Everything about this is... <gasps> What's... <laughs> I... Uh, I... Uh, you, you must understand. I... Uh, I have to go. <laughs> Alex! Alex! Ex
This is the terminal. Send it up. Isaac! No, 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 no! Stay, stay with me. I'm sorry, Isaac. Okay, okay, come, come, come I'm so in. sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. <coughs> don't, don't, don't worry. It's the only way I could help. Even if you'd hate me for it. <laughs> okay, easy now, Sarah. Listen to my voice. Don't, don't close your eyes. Hey, buddy. Sarah. Hey, hey, Sarah, no. Almost there. No, 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 no. Sarah. Sarah? It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Alex. No one needs to see this. Connection with us. Assess. 
minutes to your three to ground control. We found them.